New today, a woman in Roxborough says she wants the police to apologize to her after what she called a SWAT style raid on her home. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Dan Haggerty. Shayla Tapp made that announcement today saying that she is still very shaken up about what happened. She says back on January 6th, she was in the shower at the time when police knocked down her door and then held her naked on the floor and searched her home. WRL's Monica Casey joining us live after hearing from TAP and the police chief about all of this. Monica, give us the details. Well, Shayla Tapp has been diagnosed with PTSD since this arrest happened in January. She's asking for a formal apology and some kind of change to the way these warrants are served to ensure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Seven months after her arrest, Shayla Tapp says she still feels the effects in her home. I do not sleep at night. I am terribly afraid. I would not want this to happen to anybody. Roxboro police came to Tapp's house after an alleged theft of a dog. Officers returned later with a warrant after they said they smelled marijuana in the house. Tapp is represented by Abe Rupert Schuel. And went back to the police station to get a search warrant, to get his colleagues, to get a SWAT style raid of her home. Now by a SWAT style raid, I mean police officers armed with assault rifles, armed with weapons, with body armor, to knock down her door with a battering ram. He says the way the warrant was served was excessive. We are not at war on the streets of Roxboro over the smell of marijuana. In the district attorney's notes about the dismissal of the charges, Mike Waters writes that body camera footage shows the search warrant being served in a no-knock manner, despite there being no suspicion of drug trafficking or drug trade. In a statement from Roxborough Police Chief David Hess, he writes that he is confident the body camera video, quote, shows officers knocking and announcing on the front door, then after no response, went to the back door and did the same thing before before entering with a lawfully obtained search warrant. And we are working to obtain that body camera video ourselves and review it. We will stay on this story. Dan. Monica Casey live for us tonight in Roxborough. Thank you, Monica.